Hey guys, I got some stuff from the library, but before I pick up my stuff for the week, I'm going to return some of these because I'm done with it. Why am I looking at the microphone constantly? I don't know. So I'm going to show you what I picked up so far from the library. Because I'm pretty sure Wednesday when I pick up my stuff, I'm also stopping at the library and returning some of these. Picked up the final season of Shameless. Got this and watched that. It's a shame they didn't bring back Fiona for the last episode. I thought maybe with the whole thing with Frank in the hospital, and they were, they kept mentioning looking for a contact. Even though she would have changed her phone number since she disappeared and moved away, I thought maybe that would have been a way to bring her in for at least a final scene. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad. I'm not glad she was gone from the show, but the last three years that she was on. It seemed like she had the same storyline every year. Bad boyfriend decision, and then she would blow up her life. All self-inflicted. And, uh, yeah, watch that. Uh, Venom X-Men Poison X. Started to read that one went through this one it was really quick it's very small uh, I think it's the story broken up into four parts it's about with Will on the other side you know during the beginning of the first season it's four little books like this uh, Blade the Complete Collection by Complete it's the 2006 Blade 1 through 12 Wolverine vs. Blade Special in 2019, and that's it. Uh, DC Bombshells. I've heard of this, never read it, don't know anything about it. It's volume 1. And then The Walking Dead Compendium, Volume 1. Never actually read The Walking Dead. So I'm going to start that. That'll be the last thing I get into from this pile. Get through the smaller ones before all that. And that's it. Oh. Representing the NWO in the background. Uh, Scott Hall. Buff Bagwell. Hall with the wolf pack colors and the vest and Buff Bagwell NWO shirt I think this belonged to the Hogan doll but I put it on him in the buff hat and then as you can see here Macho Man and Hulk Hogan have put DDP through the table and Hulk is gonna spray paint him. Well, it says NWO on the can. And this is the madness macho when he came back with Gorgeous George. And he bulked up. Oh, I guess I'll show you the DDP that got laid out. Is a DDP and a table, which is cool because when you connect it, NWO written on it. So you can lay them on there. And then you can have 
Nacho Man, drop the elbow. Now let's get into the books, because it'll be Wednesday now. Hey guys, new comic book day. Uh, dug out some autographs from where I had them stored. Uh, sorry, uh, Vanessa Angel and. That's not good. Hold on. All right. Uh, this one's Julianne Moore. Don't move. I'm trying to be like all the other women and run away from me. Uh, and this one I actually had signed in person. It's Hubert Davis when he was on the Knicks, when he was a rookie, I think. Uh, he was doing a signing at a Foot Locker in Union Square. And I uh, saw him there, picked that up, and a hat that he also signed I have somewhere with some stuff that the Sandman signed. Uh, Two quick library things. We got X Men Gold. And this is. This covers issues 16 through 20. And it says end material from 12. I'm not sure what that means. And a Cyclops book. I want to check it out. Uh, this is from the 2014 run, uh, number one through five. Free preview book. Uh, this is something that came in the mail into the Badlands. Enjoyed the show. No, I have the book. Set that aside. This is uh, Jennifer Blood, number two. This had come in, I think, the week before. Well, when I came in, hadn't made it, you know, out available in, in the shop. Uh, Firefly 33, or maybe it was just held back. I'm not sure the way the comics are going these days. And this was a 1 in 10 Sheena number 1. And this was, I don't remember, it's a glow-in-the-dark variant. I think it came out this week, it says 1 in 25. Let's say anything in the back. Let me tape back the tape so it doesn't get on the cover. Uh, DC vs. Vampires, number one. The, this is to protect it. Alright. 
probably forget what the hell that book is by the time it comes out to me typing in the stuff over here. All right. You go first. Fantastic Four, 252. And 376. And 394. This is polybagged. And I don't know if you can read what it says there. It's got a one of six Marvel Action Hour acetate print inside. And a 16 page Marvel Action Hour preview. Uh, at the shop, they had told me there was other books that came poly bagged with those cells. First, I've heard of it. Let me know if you got them. Uh, picked up Pearl number one. And we got Pulse number one, or The Pulse. And issue 13 with the Mayhew cover. I'm trying to find my way around that. Light. Uh, this completes my set of four issues for Before Watchmen, Dr. Manhattan, Hughes covers. Uh, this was a cover by uh, 220, Wonder Woman. Here's another Hughes cover. This is Star Wars Legacy number six. We have Excalibur 44. Looks like they're there with the fortune teller. And we got 47 on the chessboard. And this is 86. Going back to Genosha. Uh, number 87. One oh one got Colossus on it. I don't think I ever saw Colossus with his uniform flared out like that. We got 125, The Wedding of Brian Braddock and Megan. I'm flipping it down like that to avoid the glare. Finally, Spirits of Vengeance, number six. Also part of the Spirits of Venom little story of four issues. And that's it. I'll see you later.
Thank you.